in a bit more detail in case you're wondering what, what all the buttons do. On the back is the gear selection. So you change up with that pedal, change down with that pedal, and then these are the clutch. So you only use the clutch when you're starting and stopping, otherwise put on the gas and change up, put on the brake and change down. Eight forward gears in Formula One, and the rules say you have to have reverse, but you don't want to select reverse by accident. So reverse is hidden away. So here you press this one quickly and you get neutral. You hold it down for two seconds and then you get reverse. This button on this side with the P is the pit lane speed limiter. So for Formula One for safety, there's a, there's a speed limit in the pit lane. Most tracks around the world, it's 80 kilometers an hour. This race in Singapore, because the track is a little bit tighter, it's actually reduced to 60 kilometers an hour. So when you come into the pit lane, you press that button, that will limit your speed as you go down the pit lane. As you come out the pit lane, you select second gear and it turns it off. Up here we have the gear selection, so these lights along the top will light up to tell you the optimum time to change gear, and the middle number here tells the driver what gear they're in. This PTT is push to talk, this is the radio. So they push the, push the button down to talk to the team in the garage. It's not voice activated because there's so much noise in the car and around that it has to be push activated. All the time that channel is open, the team can't talk back to the driver. So little transmission, blue light lights up to say his radio channel is open. Once he turns it off, then the team can talk back to him. This button down here is the drinks button. So this weekend in Singapore, it's a hot race. The drivers need their fluids. If the drivers had their way, I'm sure they'd like a large drinks bottle. But the larger the drinks bottle, the heavier it's going to be. And the team are trying to make the car as light as possible. So every team uses the minimum that they're allowed, which is half a litre. Now a little half a litre drinks bottle then goes underneath the driver's seat and then it starts off cold but by the time they've sat on the grid and they've started racing it very quickly warms up. So it's not a cold refreshing drink but it's, but it's a hydration drink. It's a mixture of, of um, isotonic drinks to be able to get the, drink, get the hydration back into the driver. They press that button and then it squirts a little, little bit of, um, of the drink into their mouth. The other buttons on the steering wheel is what, what we mentioned earlier with Jenny and that starts to change the configuration of the car. Some of the engine mapping, some of the fuel mixtures can all be changed from the steering wheel. And in the, in the past, the team would tell the driver during the race what changes to make. And that's what's changing this weekend in Singapore. During the race, the team can't help the driver like that. They have to think for themselves and make the changes themselves. So that's the steering wheel. With regard to the pit wall, the real pit wall downstairs, uh, let me just open this back up again. The, um, there we go. the pit wall that would be at the track this weekend is actually seven seats long, so it's actually a little bit bigger than this. And this has got various programs on it for you to, uh, to explore and, uh, and play with. But with regard to on the real pit wall down, down at the track, the lower screens normally show the data, the top screens will show the TV coverage. So on one screen, the team can follow what's going on on the track, on the lower screen, they can look at some data. These top two screens on the left hand side here are actually real screen, green screen grabs from the team from a couple of years ago. So here you've got a race trace where they're where able to follow the cars that are going around the track. They can start planning when they're going to do their pit stops and what traffic they will come into when they make a pit stop. Here you're monitoring the race as it goes along, the order of the cars, the gap between the cars, what tyres the cars are on and when they're doing their pit stops. So when you sit down, all the seats are exactly the same, but you've got various areas to explore. It's all touch screen. On the McLaren Group, you've got an area to find out a little bit more about, about McLaren Group. And there's a video there showing some of the, some of the other areas McLaren as a business are involved in. And on this side, we've got the McLaren Technology Centre. So this is what's where McLaren are based back in the UK. And then by pressing on various parts of the McLaren Group, it shows where they are based, a video with what they do and what SAP solutions are used in that part of the business. Exactly like that. And then you come out of that, and if we want to then go into the racing part, we press the McLaren Mercedes. Over here is a dashboard showing some of the streams of data that comes off the car, being visualized in a very user-friendly way for fans to be able to understand how data helps the performance of the team. And there's a video there that supports that dashboard. And then you go back, into interactive telemetry and then last year McLaren went to a private test track 
went round the track and filmed it. Oh, it's crashed. It'll get it restarted. Here you go. Uh, the, car, the cars go around the track, we filmed it, and then we asked McLaren for the data from those laps. And then we gave it to the, the SAP guys in Wardorf, and they've matched the data to the, to the footage. So while the car's going around the track on the upper screen, down here you can see four data streams for each tyre, the speed of the car, two data streams for the throttle and brake, the gear, you can see it goes along this, along this straight now, if we're going up gears, you got one more gear to go. Oh no, it's gonna change down soon. There you go, changes down. And then this one is, is the fuel. And because it's only doing a couple of laps, the fuel doesn't actually move too much at all. So feel free to put on a headset and have a play and have an explore. And if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, set, reset this one. And then feel free to uh, have, a, have a sit, put on the headphones. And have a go.